when you lose your confidence, you kind of lose a sense of self. You kind of feel like there's nothing going on for you in the world. It shows in your work. It shows whenever you hang out with your friends. And it shows in the quality of life on how you live. So today I'm going to show you five different things that I do to uplift my confidence. Let's get into it. Number one, whenever I'm feeling less confident, I like to wear my favorite clothing pieces out. So most of the time it's either a crew neck, my favorite pair of sneakers, or pants that I feel like fit me the best. I like to wear that out in public because it usually makes me feel better about myself. Number two, I would definitely say jewelry pieces. Jewelry items definitely make me feel more confident. I always wear a chain, one watch, and then at least one ring. If I'm feeling if I'm feeling real confident, then I'll stack my rings. But if I'm just trying to make myself feel confident again, it's going through like a low dopamine week. I'll just usually do one ring, a chain, and then one watch. I usually like getting my chains from Day Chains. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. Uh, I get all my rings from James Avery, and then most of my watches are from Black Tie Watch Company. I'll put them in the description below as well. I'll make sure that's linked down in the description for you guys. Number three, I would say is definitely getting a haircut. We all know this. Whenever you're feeling low, sometimes you either need to switch it up or you just need to regroom yourself. So definitely get a haircut. Definitely go get that edge up, get that fade, get some braids, get some twists, locks, whatever. Try something new sometimes. Maybe that will help you feel better about yourself. Number four, this one probably has to be my favorite tip i would say journaling journaling definitely helps me get my confidence up and this is why whenever you journal some people don't know how to journal but how i journal is depending on how i'm feeling that's why i write i write word for word exactly what i'm thinking because whenever you let it out you just feel more better about yourself instead of bottling all up inside you definitely want to let your thoughts out let your feelings out i understand we don't have people that we can always vent to or sometimes we don't feel safe or vulnerable enough to vent to other people. So that's why I stress about y'all getting journals. If you need a journal, I'll link one down in the description below for you guys too. I'll even link one down that I use personally. So I got y'all. So if you're journaling to make yourself feel more confident, here's what I recommend. You make a list of 10 things that you appreciate about yourself or that you like about yourself. Whether it's physical or it's mental, okay? Whether you're, I like myself because I'm confident. I like myself because I got a good self-esteem. I like myself because I'm trusting. I like myself because I'm loyal. Or I like myself because I got nice facial features. I like myself because I'm big. I like myself because I'm skinny. I like myself because I got abs. You know, just different, different things and then just read it to yourself three times, whether out loud or in your head. And I promise you that will help you. But you gotta do that on a routine basis. I wouldn't recommend making the list every day, but if you want to make the list every day, you can, or you can write down the list and then write down your top three on your mirror with a dry erase marker, and that'll definitely help build your confidence. I used to do that in high school and in college, so highly recommend that one. Number five, the fifth thing that I do to build my confidence is definitely focus in on my craft. So in high school, I know at the time it was either track or I used to paint back in the day. So I used to paint back in the day. So I would paint and I would just like practice. Every time I practice painting and I post a new picture of my painting, that built more confidence because everybody loved it. Everybody loved my paintings. They'll say how well it is or they'll even give me more ideas of what I should paint or how to make my paintings even better. So that definitely built my confidence. Or I would just focus in on track, make sure my I was dialed in at practice. I was locked in focus on what I was doing so then at the following track meets I could win and that will build my confidence as well. So I definitely say having a hobby or something that you're interested in, if you do that, that gives you a backbone as to why you should be confident and you'll carry yourself in a different light. Thank you for watching guys. I've been feeling pretty low in my confidence lately so that's why I wanted to make this video to let you know five things that I personally do to lift my confidence up because I feel like maybe someone else is going through this at the same time as me or by the time you're watching this maybe you're going through it right now so here we are hope these tips help thanks for watching guys make sure to like and subscribe down below and join the community and if you want go ahead and follow me on Instagram and YouTube we're on YouTube make sure to follow me on Instagram or TikTok and I'll see you next time guys